Hello and welcome to a retro episode of Ready to Mosh. I'm Kev P. Alongside me is the jingle to my balls. It's Gem G. <laughs> I'm speechless at that <laughs> one. Fits for the time of year? I guess, because this is going out on Christmas Day. It is. Merry humbug, everybody. Yep. Merry whatever you choose to do today. <laughs> so this episode is the episode that we put out last year. And it's Jem playing me some alternative Christmas songs and my thoughts on them. Yeah, some of my festive favourites. Hmm. <laughs> so, just to give you a bit of inspiration of something you might want to listen to today, to get the family party started and all of that. There is also a playlist on Spotify that I put together last year, and I've probably added a few more to it since then. So, I'll be putting that out and about at some point so you can go and listen as well. So, here it is. <laughs> So it's time to get festive. Mm. Not being a grun a grunge. A grunge. <laughs> it's like a, a grungy grinch. A grunge. Right. <laughs> so first of all, I think we're gonna just talk about some alternative Christmas songs. And then yeah. we've got some bits and bobs of Christmas merch. Mm -hmm. Now being the grunch that you are, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna stick now. You only like two Christmas song alternative Christmas songs. Probably oh, only two old probably two Christmas songs. Yeah, I think that's a fair comment. So the plan is you're going to talk about those and then I'm going to yeah. send you off to listen to some of my favourites because I've got a whole playlist. Yeah, so yeah. For, as you've probably guessed throughout this episode, I can't stand Christmas. It's a bleak, depressing time of year. It's horrible. It's cold. It's wet. Ugh. Fairy lights and cinnamon. Ugh, I don't like cinnamon. You don't, do you? Not a selling point. No. Um, uh, so I'll just talk about two alternative ones that I do actually like. First one being The Night That Santa Went Crazy, which is a weird Al Yankovic song, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. He talks about Santa killing all the elves and the reindeer and going to a maximum security prison. Uh, yeah, I really like that one. It's very catchy. Yeah. yeah, I'm a fan of that one. That's on my playlist. And the only other song I like that's Christmassy is called Buried by Christmas by Wednesday 13, which again, really good Wednesday song. And... I I just don't like Christmas music. It's horrid. I will give you that. Majority of it is. But alternative songs, songs, deary me, alternative songs are not so bad. Mm. We'll see what you have to offer. Yeah. Well, anyway, your two are already on my playlist, so I'm obviously not going to send you off to listen to those. Yeah. So am I going to say what the song is and then we'll pause while you listen to it because copyright and then you'll give your thoughts after? Yeah, go on. Okie dokie. So, first one is one of my favourite ones. It's only a little one. It won't take too much listening. Mm -hmm. You will have heard it around the house many times already, but it is Xmas by Corey Taylor. I think I've heard this. What did you think of that one? Uh, I like the sentiment in it. I don't believe that Corey Taylor's like that. Do you not? No. <laughs> you I think mean, he's, really he's like a big kid, yeah. You think? <laughs> I bet you he is. I'm not sure. I think he yeah. will be, yeah. I think it's just a marketing gimmick. Yeah. That one. Um, Lyrically, yeah, quite like it. Musically, no. Yeah, I very much appreciate everything about that song. Give right, over. What, what? You love Christmas. Joy to the world, Jack and Coke. Mm. Right, what shall we have next? Too many to pick from. How's about... That's not very metal, actually, is it? The Wombles. Right, we'll go for Lemmy's version of Run, Rudolph, Run. Okay. That's a classic. What do you think of that one? Uh... I mean, I don't like it, but it kind of works for Lemmy's voice. Yeah. I think it's kind of got an old... Lemmy's voice just kind of works as, with an old song. It does. That gruff grr. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it? Okay. No. I think this is going to be a quite a similar response yeah. to a lot of these. I feel like I'm going to be on a mission to, to find, find one, one like. you like, but there's about 60 songs on this playlist and I don't know if we've got time. <laughs> this next one then, this is a relatively new one released by Raised My Owls last year, mm. their cover of Stay Another Day, which they did to raise money for Mind. Okay. So that one made you laugh, if yeah. nothing else. That's genius. That's, that's something I'd have done absolutely pissed up. <laughs> that's amazing. It's good, isn't it? And that, so, I, again, I don't, you know, I don't like the song, but their interpretation is really funny. Yeah. Because it's, it's just... You need to see the video, basically, recreating the original video with the big white puffy coats. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that later. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, if somebody starts playing Christmas songs at work, I'm just going to suggest that one. Well, funny you mentioned that, because last year someone popped in Teams at work. Mm. Let's create a playlist of all of our favourite Christmas songs. So I contributed that. Did it get played? <laughs> I don't know, because oh. obviously we're all at home, aren't we? So I did say, you know, this may not be to everyone's taste, but this is my contribution and it's for a good cause. So listen to it. Yeah, that, it, it has made me laugh. It has yeah. made me chuckle. <laughs> just, I just wasn't expect. I don't know what I was expecting. But I wasn't expecting that. So that. The fact that they've kept everything the same and then just done their vocals. I love it. Yeah, the start of it in particular. You just think it's the same, don't you? Yeah. Next, well, I'm not going to imp- do an impression. But <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's, yeah. So do we have a third song on the playlist for the car? No, no, but it, it does make me chuckle. Okay. Right, next one I'm going for, there's actually two versions of this, or you to the world. You could have the original Vandals version, or you could have the No Doubt version. I don't know if you'll have a preference. Vandals. Okay. All right. Uh, for that one, you know, we were saying, I'm trying to think what it was, when we were saying that when pop stars do metal songs or rock songs, it yeah. doesn't work. Mm. I don't think Christmas songs work for metal and rock bands, but punk bands can kind of get away with it. And the the Vandals one kind of works. It, I mean, I wouldn't listen to it, but yeah. it kind of works. And I think I think it's because of the pace of the punk bands mm. and the way that they get through stuff so quickly. Yeah, no, you mean it kind of it sort of works a little mm. bit. But yeah, still not a fan. And that's older than that one. Well, the Vandals have actually got a whole Christmas album of mm. "Oi to the World" being right. the lead single. So if you did want to listen to some more Vandals Christmas, they've got a whole range on there, including such treats as Grandpa's Last Xmas. Christmas time for my penis, my first Xmas as a woman, here I am Lord, hang myself from the tree. So it's just over half an hour of some good old Scarpunk Christmas classics. Okay. If you may want to delve further into that one. Next one I'm going to subject you to then is Naughty Christmas by Lacuna Coil. (laughs) Right. What do you think of that one? That's probably the best so far. That's the best of a bad bunch. Could it be a contender? I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not making. I'm not making any promises at this point. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Christmas song, so it, no. it kind of works. Yeah, I think in the middle it gets a little bit more festive. Hmm. But yeah, I really like that one. It's one of my my current new faves. Yeah. Right. Um, one more. Dog. Come one on. One more. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more to make you listen to, and then I'll just go through a few other favourites. Yeah. Before we move on to other stuff, this is a relatively new one. Then this is. Your favourite's Chugaboom doing All I Want for Christmas is You. Jesus Christ. Or All I Want for Chugmas is You. Okay. What the chug did you think of that? Well, I prefer it to the uh, Queen rendition that they did. Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this might be another one I can say for work. Well, I was just thinking if we do another playlist this year, I think that might be my contribution. Yeah. With an I'll... explicit warning at the start, because, you know. Somebody will get offended about something. Yeah. Uh yeah, I might save. I might make a no- couple of notes on these two and save them for work. So when uh, I just take over the music at work and just stream Spotify and blast a couple of these out, see what happens. Why not? Okay, Dick. Now I know we said that was the last one I was going to play you, but I've just got one forty-second little ditty you for you, yes. which I think you might like. Mm. I'm not giving you anything you might not like. Mm. This one you might genuinely like. This is Blink One Eight Two. Happy holidays, you bastard. Is that a new one? Is that something new that they've done? So I'm not familiar You're with that not one. not familiar with it. Um, just bear with me. Right. Now, I must have always skipped this because it's from it's in 2001 and it's from Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Mm. See, I wasn't sure because it never come up and I obviously search out these kind of Christmas songs more than you do and I've not come across it and it just got mentioned at Rockfit this week. Yeah. I was like, oh, have they done a new one? Yeah, it's the, it's the fourth track off that album, mm. but I must have always skipped it because I had that album. And it is probably my favourite Blink album. There you go. So... Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, I must have just skipped that song completely. Must just have saw the title and, and went, uh, Yeah, that'll do for me. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not going to subject your ears to any more tonight. Thank God for that. <laughs> but I am just going to go down my playlist, which is actually three hours, 20 minutes, so we could keep going on this. No, we can't. <laughs> Outside of the podcast. So, first up, we've got Dead by Christmas, Hanoi Rocks. Mm-hmm. Classic, 80s, bit of glam in there. Merry Christmas, I Don't Want to Fight Tonight by the Ramones. Mm-hmm. Another old classic one. How the Communists Ruin Christmas by Mongol Horde, which is Frank Turner's one of his side, a side project that he did in around 20, was it 14 or 16? Uh, 14. 14. It's from seeing them at Leeds that year. Um, that's a good one. Whole heap of covers by various bands. Twisted Sister have done like a whole album Doesn't with things like me. Deck the Halls on, you know, 
one of those. There's another Blink-182 one, I Won't Be Home for Christmas. Mm. Did you know that one? Not familiar with it. Okay. Again, Bad Religion did a whole, I think it's a whole album, things like White Christmas, punk style. Yeah. Rise Against did a cover of Making Christmas, as in From the Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Old classic, Thank God It's Christmas by Queen. Mm. So that's one of the few traditional, what I call childhood Christmas songs (laughs) that have made it onto the list. No. Um, That and um, Elton John, Step Into Christmas, of all the classic non alternative Christmas songs, that's one of my favourites. So even Skid Row did Jingle Bells. Yeah. Um,. Obviously, the darkness. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it now. Did I make you listen to it? No. As I mentioned earlier, Wombling Merry Christmas by the Wombles is another childhood classic, which, you know. And what is a playlist without Jimmy Buffett? Christmas Island. <laughs> yeah. Reaper have actually done a couple of Christmas covers. Mm-hmm. Fairy Tale of New York, which... No Ugh. one wants to listen to. Sorry, Creeper, of all the Christmas songs you could have covered. It's, ugh. Anyway, and also Blue Christmas. That's yeah. a really good cover, actually, because that really suits Will's voice. Quite kind of deep, bluesy Elvis style. You know, looking at me like dog card trick style. <laughs> no, it's just, I'm not a Creeper fan. And no. I'm, I hate Christmas songs, so it's like the, mm-hmm. the a bad combo for me. Mull of Kintyre, Discuss? To me, it's not a Christmas song. No. It's a football song. Is it one of those that was only classed as a Christmas song because it was out at Christmas? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Mull of Twats. It is when I've been drinking and yeah. I'm on the city ground. <laughs> um, Psycho Stick Zombie Claws is right. um, Rob Zombie cover of... Which Rob Zombie song is it? I can't think now. Mm. I know what I mean. <laughs> it's a Rob Zombie cover. Okay. Mind has gone blank on that one. I only did it last night at Rob as well. Okay. <laughs> but I did the... The Santa version, so there you go. Um, Christmas in New York City, The 69 Eyes. That's mm-hmm. Michael. Jingle Balls by Corn. No. no. <laughs> um, a new discovery for me this year was Dead Christmas by Monster Magnet. All right. And another new one. I'm at the end of the list now, you'll be pleased to know. So these God for that. New ones that I've discovered recently this year. Merry Blah 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 by Lordy. Everyone needs a bit of Lordy in their life, don't they? And also... Necrogoblicon have done Goblin Christmas Armageddon Part 1 and Goblin <laughs> Christmas Armageddon Fox. Part 2. Right. So they could be future classics. So, yeah, they're my, they're my picks of alternative Christmas songs. And you're very welcome to keep them. I will. I may share the playlist if anyone is interested in listening to it. Obviously, let us know, or let me know, because you don't care, <laughs> what your favourite alternative Christmas songs are. Are there any classics that I've missed? Always looking for more to add to that list. Yeah. And on that note, that jingle bell note, I'll hand over to you to talk about some merch. Yeah, so we're going to also talk about some merch that's available. Obviously, everybody goes mental for Christmas jumpers and wants to look like a twat. So so let's go through some merch that we've seen that you can get. I've found a Pantera Christmas jumper, which is the most revolting thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't believe it's the most revolting thing you've ever seen. It's up there. Okay, what is it's, wrong uh, with it? It's got a huge wreath. It's got Pantera across it, obviously. It's yeah. a red jumper with a massive wreath on the front of it. Yeah, I've seen that because I've seen a lot of Christmas jumpers on EMP. Loads of band ones. Yeah, uh, there's all and there's various Kiss designs. Like if you want a Kiss mm. jumper, you'll you'll find one. I didn't actually spot any Kiss Christmas jumpers. I have to say. One thing I will say about Kiss, and what has surprised me, is they don't do um, crackers. So they could sell Christmas crackers. They could, and I can't believe they don't. Yeah, they're missing the trick mm-hmm. there. Yeah, I found out, like I say, a whole heap of varying Christmas jumpers, mainly on EMP. So the, what did you say, the Pantera one, the yep. Ramstein one, Parkway, I'm on a Mars, Slipknot, Creator, Volby, ACDC, Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, In Flames, Five Finger Death Bunch, Black Sabbath, and Guns N' Roses. To name but a few. They're all of a very similar Any, ilk. Yeah. Band Anyone logo. who can get a merch, merchandising yeah. rights to, isn't it? Usually kind of associated band colours that kind of go with the logo on there. And they're all like 40 to £50. Pound. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a licence to print money. It is, isn't it? I mean, there are many that I would like, but I don't have. <laughs> uh, some of the other things I have spotted mm. were um, bubbles. Bubbles. Um, bubbles and... Yes. Tree ornaments. Yes, I have spotted some in particular on there. So I've I've seen the uh, Maiden Trooper 
ornament hanging ornament yeah uh, an ace of spades one which did actually look quite cool and then a couple of baubles from metallica obviously because they've not got enough money one was it was a sad but true one uh in the skull as a bauble and the other one was a master of puppets baubles oh. master of puppets bauble yeah with the um with the album designs oh they sound quite cool hmm um, but they were they were something like 15 quid each. Mm. Speaking of baubles, Behemoth have got a range of blown glass ornaments for your tree. Mm-hmm. So there's a set of three, so you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a trio. And they're basically kind of black with one of the three different Behemoth logos on them. Okay. So they're very pretty looking, but similarly to the ones you mentioned, they're £15.50 each or the set is £53.50. For a set of three? Yeah. They come in like a presentation box if you buy the set. So I, I was going to say, because you're that's doing more the maths, ex- aren't yeah, you? That's more expensive <laughs> I can than see buying them individually. Yeah, it's in like a gift set box. So I think that's why the three is actually more expensive. Like I said, they're very pretty. They would look awesome on the tree, but I would just be so scared of breaking them as well. Yeah. But in that in blown glass, I imagine they're quite delicate. So yeah, I admire those from afar. Okay. What else have you got? Um, a couple of t shirts I spotted on Amplify. There's like the Guns N' Roses. Hats logo, but replaced with Santa hats. You're visualising that one. And an ACDC Jingle Bells t-shirt. I spotted a ghost Christmas t-shirt, obviously. Um, they also had a ghost holiday gift guide on their merch page, but it wasn't overly festive from what I saw. It's more items you might want to buy someone for Christmas, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like they've got a vinyl player now. Mm. A few other bits of merch, like the Batwing hoodie and some things that we mentioned in our merch episode a few months ago that they're kind of wheeling out as, as Christmas gifts, such as oh, you, yeah. you paint your own papa sets. And I think there was like um, the rosary crucifix they do in Christmas colours on the beads. Mm. So, so have you got any others? No, I'm all done because that's Christmas. Let's any get it other- over with. <laughs> any other bits then I'll just go into Ramstein again. It's not explicitly festive but some new bits that are spotted up in their merch store included ramstein snow globe so i guess kind of festive yeah a dressing gown or house coat that's the kind of thing you might give someone for christmas they also had a range of perfumes and aftershaves which i don't know if it's new or these are new versions or whatever but again kind of a traditional christmas gift Mm -hmm. Is this still Ramstein? Yeah, this is still Ramstein. Do you want to smell like pyrotechnics? Well, I mean, they've got some interesting names on the, the scents. They've got Parfume, Diamant, Low Intense, mm-hmm. which sounds relatively normal. Then you've got Seaman Reloaded, Engel Pure, and Parfume Pussy. Oh. So who knows what they may smell like, but <laughs> you can't get a sample by the look of it. You just have to take a punt and spend... 39 euros on 100 mils and hope it's not revolting. <laughs> nah, I'm all good. Mm, yeah. I mean, I don't think I'd buy a perfume without testing it at the best of times, no. but with a name like that. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Okay. Merch-wise, I guess. Um, I will mention my download Christmas jumper, because that was a bargain last year, which I guess could be a top tip if anyone's looking for, you know, the download Christmas jumper. I got mine after Christmas last year, reduced in the sale for, it was £15 and an extra 10% off, I think they had off yeah, everything, didn't like they? That, yeah. So it was 13, 13 or £14. £13.50, yeah. Yeah, and then it was whacked back up to its full price of about 50 a download this year. And I've not actually looked on the merch store prior to this, but yeah, if you're interested in the download Christmas jumper, that's the way to do after it. After Christmas. Because even with the £6 hideous postage that they charge on everything, it would still be a bargain. I should have looked on there, actually, because I know they had a few other bits advertised, yeah, they didn't did, they? They had yeah. some Download Dog slippers, and they've had Download Dog baubles previously, haven't they, as well? Yeah. So, And obviously Download Monopoly will be on there, which we've still yet to play. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a, a gaming episode on that. See how we yeah. get on. Or something on Instagram. Something along those lines. Yeah, we'll we'll take the cellophane off. <laughs> at least. Weeks. Yeah, and look at it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it then. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed listening to that retro Christmas episode from last year. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a lovely time and lots of cheese. You can keep up with what else we're up to on our social media sites, which are 
Instagram, Twitter or X and Threads at Ready to Mosh Cast and YouTube, Facebook and TikTok at Ready to Mosh. Please leave us a nice five star rating and a lovely little review on wherever you prefer to stream your pods in the spirit of the joyful spreading season and all of that. And we'll be back again soon. Make it merry, Moog.